Hey there, YouTube land. This is Vape Freak. I have something special for you today. I have an iJoy RDTA box mod. I know what you're thinking. Oh, we've seen that before. There's a million people reviewing them online, right? But not quite like this one. This is a Vape Central Group custom painted iJoy RDTA box mod. so cool I am absolutely in love with this thing and I'm going to show you everything you need to know about it up close I just can't get over how this looks so we're gonna break it down look at the inside outside build quality paint quality since it is a custom and I'll let you know where you can get it all the links will be in the description and I actually have some codes for discounts as well so without further ado let's go to the mat okay folks here's the box the iJoy RDTA comes in um, evidently this one was green once upon a time but no more it is a beautiful black and red custom artwork all the spec specs are the same from the factory one 200 watts TC control modes it's a firmware upgradable all that good stuff 12.8 milliliters capacity for liquid that is insane but what I really want to focus on is the artwork from Vape Central Group they did an amazing job of customizing this for me And but I just wanted to show you what was in the box just like I always do you know, plain white box is inside that open it up this is what she sits in, a little recessed little foam thing. Pull that, empty. All right, so she comes with O-rings and some pre-made Clapton coils. Not exactly sure the specs on those, so I didn't use them. Comes with the silicone little dust cap for the RDA section of the box of course it has the charger this is the pre-made coil tri-coil that it comes with here's a little cap for if you remove the RDA you can just like cap off the mod so it doesn't spill everywhere. I think it's kind of useless, honestly, because that RDA that's on top of the RDTA box, you can't use it on anything else. So why would you need a cap? Doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but at least they still give it to you. A little cleaning brush, because it is a deep juice well. Kind of need that to get down in the little cracks there. Have the really nice little screwdriver it's not the little junky blue or red one that you usually get it's actually pretty cool really really good to crank on because I have larger hands so uh, video link so DJ LSV DJ LSV vapes has a tutorial uh, like on the on the board I'm sure he goes through everything he is a pretty cool guy he uh, is very technical so I'll put this link in the description as well but it's pretty cool that they're working with DJ LSB vapes warranty card and the manual that tells you how to do everything blah, 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 blah. And that is it. Oh, and from Vape Central Group, <clears throat> they provide you with some cotton, 
and some more coils. This is not in the factory box. This is in Vape Central Synthes themselves. Kind of like a thank you. Pretty nice company. I've actually spoken on the phone with the owner. Really nice guy. Told him I was going to do a review and he's like, yeah, just send me the link. So, kind of excited to hear his feedback of what he says. But super cool guy. I'm not sure which owner it was that I spoke to. I couldn't remember his name just off the top of my head. But, you know, I'm really forgetful. So let's put this back together. And that's that. All right, so here it is. And would you look at that? That is so freaking cool. All right, let's start at the top. This is the reservoir fill port. Now, if you look on the box, the one from the factory is like a chrome or aluminum polish. They've actually Cerakoted this where it's black, and that is sexy. Okay, here is the RDA section. Same graphics as the rest of it, kind of matches. Pretty cool. That's where you adjust it. But that's from the factory, you know, so that's not anything custom. And here's the tank portion. Very cool. Uh, here is the button. There's a little parrot, like a die. Very clicky button. And uh, I've heard some uh, other reviewers say that this button, once you like, if you just like tap on it, it's got a weird click to it. And I don't know if the Vape Central group has fixed that or from the factory they fixed that, but mine really doesn't do that. Mine clicks when it's supposed to and it's kind of quiet when it's not. And here is the body itself. So like a sort of little roulette wheel, some cards, some dice, and has a skull skeleton dude with a top hat with the moon behind him, some more dice on this side. Just really cool. Now they have a ton of different options. Oh, some cards on the bottom. They have a ton of different options. You can get blues, greens, oranges, reds, and different artwork as well. Some of them have a provocative uh, female cartoon-ish illustrations. Some of them are skulls. Some of them are, like, you name it. There's all kinds of different things. Everything is going to be in the description, all the links, so you can go check that out. So, let's put some batteries in. Just like the normal one, you just push down. That comes off. Now, here's the inside. It still has the venting port, just like the normal one. So safety in mind, that was actually a good idea. And the battery sled, just as factory mandates so like, other than the artwork this thing is pretty much stock but I still really love this thing so alright let's put some batteries in using LG HG2's it's what I always use I love those batteries but check this out I rewrapped all my batteries isn't that cool I've got all the different kinds of things let me show you the other one got some more got the flash <laughs> pretty neat but uh yeah so I they stay married I put two of each you know different figures kind of neat though big Batman fan and negative down positive up negative up positive down and it she comes on clicks into place very sturdy god I love this thing All right, so there's the board. Now, like I said, DJ LS V Vapes is probably going to go over this a whole lot more than I can. 
I just wanted to show you the custom aspect. All right. Nice bright board. I wish I could change the color of it. If I could change it red to match, that would be sick. But I don't want to have to take this thing apart to do that. Which I might eventually once I have it for a while. But for right now, I just wanted to leave it stock. Nice bright screen. I vape it at 66.6 .6 watts. It's on hard mode. Like, you'll learn everything there is to know about all that. There's a low mode, right? soft mode, hard mode, normal mode batteries and how many puffs has been taken I've only had this thing for like a day and I've already almost hit 500 so I've been vaping the crap out of it I love this mod vape central group crushed it man now there is one imperfection in the clear coat which uh, I learned this is not really paint. It's like a hydro dip process, I think. But then they clear over top of it. But right here, there's like a little drop. Like a little excess clear coat. It's not that noticeable. I mean, once you're looking at it, you can't really even see it. But I did, did need to mention it just in case you didn't want to freak out when you got yours. But, uh, yeah, that's it. The iJoy. RDTA box vape central group custom one more thing before we go back up top this is a little thing that they sent me with my box it's got vape central groups logo on there vape central group it says ten dollars off on this side but there's no codes on this side kind of strange but on this side we customize your device. Yeah, those are some, uh, that looks like a Relo 2.3 or maybe a 200, I'm not sure. A couple Relos, just different mods. They have all different kinds of stuff. Not, your, not just the iJoy. They have Sigelis, they have uh, the Relo. They have a really good selection. But this is premium heat resistant paint clear coated to ensure durability now, like I said they give you that little packet of coils in the cotton so it says ship with shop with us and get free coils so I'll give you some coils there this is five dollars off your first custom purchase code VCGART so you can get it five dollars off pretty cool they do have juice on the or e-liquid. I don't like saying juice. E-liquid on their website, so you can get twenty percent off any e-juice of your choice. Code is VCG two zero one six, and they do provide free shipping all across the United States. Now I think they are based out of Florida, and I ordered mine on a Friday and I got it the next Monday or Tuesday I think there was a holiday in there somewhere really really fast shipping good quality shipping container no problems whatsoever on shipping so there is your coupon codes vape central group you guys are awesome and alright let's go back up top And we're back up top, so what are my thoughts? I kind of already know what I think about this thing. I am in love with this box. It does have a pretty good amount of weight to it. It's pretty heavy with the two batteries because it is a metal construction and it has 12 mLs of juice in there, so that's going to have a lot of weight. I can fill this up and vape all stinking day and have no issues uh, battery life about the same two batteries for pretty much a 10 12 hour day you know so as you go to work come back you still have battery life I always take batteries with me just in case but you know. uh, another thing I didn't show you that they light up inside pretty cool so you see you can see your juice 
or your e-liquid. And nice bright screen. God, I am in love. So I have not had a dry hit out of this mod since I bought it. I wicked it. I'll show you the build that I have in here. So dual alien claptons. I put the postless deck out of the iJoy Limitless Classic RDA, RDTA in there. It comes with uh, the velocity style deck but I prefer this deck and they're interchangeable so let's go with pros and cons pros <clears throat> changeable decks there's like eight or nine different options there's like a shit ton of options uh, airflow massive airflow I have it turned down about a quarter of the way I guess and that's where I like to have it but a uh, huge amount of airflow airflow let's see battery life battery life is stellar and build quality is amazing there's no gaps there's no it hasn't leaked on me at all since I have built it now it does depend on the way you wick and the way that you build if you don't know what you're doing it's gonna leak so gotta make sure the cotton is nice and in there just right very responsive clicky button and let's see some more pros um, menu system is very easy to operate A little clicky up and down buttons as well let's see uh, let's go with some cons there's only a few uh, it's very heavy you know that's a heavy that's a con if you're gonna keep it in your pocket kind of a pain but if you're in the car on the go I'm absolutely amazing but it is a little heavy What's some more cons um, I don't think there's really that many more cons um, no that's it because I love it I couldn't find a con if I wanted to and I did purchase this mod. This was not sent to me for free. I do purchase all of the stuff that I review. And I'm not a wealthy person at all. I uh, work for a living and I actually purchase the things that I review. Maybe one day companies will start sending me this stuff, but I'm not holding my breath. I don't do it for that. I do it for, it's just a hobby. And I like to inform you guys and try to help. Uh, now paint oh vape central group if you're listening a couple of things that I would do since you uh, you already have this thing apart when you customize it right get some uh, like filament or cellophane or whatever you call it and while you have this open put that right up on top of the screen and put it back together to match the color so this screen will be red if the box is blue make it blue you know common sense but I think that would be a nice touch and also the little light that you see so you can see your juice like replace that little LED that's in there with a, the same color just so it matches it's not a big deal I don't care but I think that would be like one more step above so that is it. Let's have a token on here and we will be done. Clouds for days, guys. I love this thing. And that's at 66.6 .6 watts. Two rips in this room is cloudy. Crazy, crazy good. Okay. So, Vape Central Group Customs knocked it out of the park. If you buy one from them, uh, 
hope you get the same results, but I have no doubts. These are really professional people. And I am done. I hope you guys have a good day, and I will see you next time.